Hey guys, it's TechRan here. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to capture multiple audio sources in OBS. That is right. So if you want to have separate sources just for your mic, your gameplay, your stream PC, your QTS, your alerts, to even having an all rounder where it basically has all that in one source, I'm going to show you guys that here today. So let's get right into it. So what you're going to do to get started is to go into your settings on your OBS. So you're going to see right here for myself, I have my OBS settings and I can actually go to output. And then once you're in an advanced mode on OBS, you're going to see a multiple audio tracks. So you can see on the streaming side, you have up to six tracks, but you're not going to use six tracks. You want to always have it set to one. So that way you have your, all your audio sources. So for example here, I have my audio track on track six. I actually need to fix this on track one. I was messing with some audio tracks a little bit earlier here, but my track six has my mic to stream PC, gaming PC, to pretty much every single audio source is all in that one track. So that way it's, I can have everything for my stream because I don't want to have just my mic for my stream because then it'll look weird when people watch it back. But if you go into your recording section, you're gonna see you have multiple audio tracks. So you can have one, two, three, four, and five, and up to six. Now of course six has everything, but my actual track one has just my mic. My track two has just my gaming PC, so gaming audio. Track three has my streaming PC audio. And of course track four has my TTS for my chat. So my chat says something, I can capture a separate audio source. And track five actually has my alerts. Sometimes I like recording, having my alerts in the footage if it makes sense to just like for certain bits. So yeah, once you have all these checked, what you want to do is start actually setting them up for individual sources. So if you go into your actual settings under your audio and stuff like that, events, audio properties, you're going to see right here, you have access to some stuff. You can see I have my mic, my gaming PC, and all the other things, but you want to focus on just the main thing that you know that provide an audio source. So for example, here, the mic, I actually have my mic set to track one, like I said earlier, same thing with my gaming PC, it's set to track two. So anything that's captured on track two is going to only be the gameplay audio. And then same thing with track one so only going to be the mic audio and same thing for all these tracks that are not checked so if you want to have everything on one track you basically just set it to whatever track you want to be so for example here i have all my audio for track six but i have individual sources for one and five one through five i should say so i have access to that now for clipping stuff it's the same method basically you want to just do this set up the same kind of process and then of course when you stream buffer something and clip it it's of course going to capture multiple audio sources so for example here i'm going to show you guys a little bit of footage i have that i record multiple audio tracks so you're going to see here we have this footage right this is just some random footage of me recording an intro but when i look at this now you can see i have multiple audio tracks one through six and of course six is going to have everything and one's just going to have my mic so if i was to play like one for example here now now this you can see it's it has some audio so if i didn't do track six on the other or like track two or track three you can see there's gonna be no audio to that just because in fact i'm not recording i don't have the audio from uh, the pc right there now if i was to go to the track two where my gaming pc is you're gonna see there's gonna be some audio to this like you see there so which is pretty cool this is a very useful method you want to set up multiple audio tracks and it's gonna be the same kind of method for actually clipping stuff you can see right here I'm going to click on this. It's going to have multiple audio tracks and then I can preview everything. So this is for my Twitch stream and I clipped it. So I literally can look through all the audio and it's going to have every single thing. So if I start playing it now, it's probably going to have, it's going to be very loud. Yeah. You can see I have all my audio there. So yeah, that's how you set up multiple audio tracks in OBS. And that's how you go through it too. And if you want to actually dissect the audio from the actual audio and stuff, what you can do is get this application right here. Like I have basically what this does is you basically drop in your footage whatever footage you have i'm going to grab something for the time being to just showcase so let's grab this we just drag this on in here which i will have this application link down below if you want to get for yourself and you can see i have a lot of information going on with this but we don't really need to focus too much on this what we want to focus is on is on the audio bit so what i usually do if i do this is i set the actual audio the video to 18 480p because it's not going to be like i'm going to use the video from this i'm going to use the video from the original source but then i can actually look at the different tracks in here you can see how much actual bit right is actually in each track so if i want maybe everything i click on track six then i just name this maybe like the same file put in my downloads and call it t6 and then i just render it out and then i have a rendered version of the file on hand so then i can click render and with that I have all the audio right there and then i basically just throw in the editor and i can do like that or if you have an editing software like um premiere sometimes it'll actually you know premiere actually does allow you to separate tracks some applications won't allow you to just pull all the audio tracks together so that's kind of the unfortunate thing like i use power director and i actually have to use this separate application to decide this the sect the tracks that i want from it in order to use the tracks which is kind of a tedious process but 
if it works it works that's all that matters and then for like premiere there's actually an option for you like to go on multi-track audio and it'll dissect everything from that one video like you saw within the footage playing it back i can click on one through six but with this i just have to dissect it now make sure when you do actually use this method to get multiple audio tracks i use either mp4 or mkv because that actually supports multi-track audio so that way you can actually get the audio sources so that way you don't like use some other format and then you don't get the multi audio tracks because those are the ones that do support it and there might be like something else you might be using that might not support so when you test this method it most likely will not work but if you guys did find this video helpful and did learn something new from this then make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed because we're trying to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of the year so you want to do me that favor that'd be very much appreciated but until then i'll see you guys in our video tech grant out